evaluate integral of x dx by square root of 1 minus x square into sin square of root of 1 minus x square. So, if you look at the options, so everything, all the options has cot of root of 1 minus x square. So, we know that integration of cosecant square x gives cot x. So, somehow we need to express the given integral in terms of cosecant square of root of 1 minus x square. So, that means it is very clear that we need to substitute root of 1 minus x square as t because uh, uh, the integral integrand also contains 1 by root of 1 minus x square. So, this problem should be solved by the method of substitution. We will just put root of 1 minus x square as t. So, differentiating this we get 1 by 2 root of 1 minus x square into minus 2x into dx as dt or else x by root of 1 minus x square into dx becomes minus dt. Here 2 and 2 gets cancelled. Hence, we will assume the given integral as i. So, that is equal to minus dt by x in x by root of 1 minus x square is replaced with minus dt and this becomes sin square t. So, this is minus 1 by cosecant sin square t is same as cosecant square t into dt. We know that integration of uh, minus cosecant square t is cot t where t is root of 1 minus x square. So, this becomes cot of root of 1 minus x square followed by the constant c. So, hence first option is correct. We now consider a integral of the form e to the power of 2 log x plus e to the power of x log 2. So, here uh, first option cannot be answered because they were not at all integrated. And if I consider second answer, partially it is correct because e to the power of 2 log x can be written as e to the power of log x square and integration of x square is x cube by 3. Whereas the second term, it is e to the power of log 2 to the power of x that can be written as 2 power x. So, integration of 2 power x is 2 power x by log 2. So, obviously second option is not correct. Even third option is not correct. So, only fourth option is correct. So, we will integrate and see. I will show you that the fourth answer is the correct option. The given problem can be rewritten in the form e to the power of log x square plus e to the power of log 2 power x. So, this is same as integral of x square plus 2 power x into dx. So, integration of this is x cube by 3 and integration of 2 power x is 2 power x by log 2 base e. So, hence fourth option is correct. We now integrate integral of 1 by root x into x plus 4 with respect to x. So, if you look at the options, all the options almost has tan inverse of root x or tan inverse of root x by 2. So, that means we need to express the integrand in terms of 1 by root x the whole square plus a square form. So, that means the given integral can be rewritten in the form of 1 by root x into this x we will write it as root x the whole square plus 2 square into dx. So, uh, if I substitute root x as t then differentiating this we will get 1 by 2 root x into dx as dt or 1 over root x into dx becomes 2 dt. So, the given integrand becomes 2 dt by t square plus 2 square. So, we know that integration of 1 by a square plus x square is 1 over a tan inverse of x by a. So, this is 2 into 1 by 2 tan inverse of t by 2 where t is root x. So, hence it is root x by 2. So, therefore, tan inverse of root x by 2 is the solution. So, c is the correct option. We now need to find the integral of e to the power of minus x by e power x plus e power minus x. So, there are four options. In the first option, we have log of e power x plus e power minus x. 
so this option cannot be correct because to write it in terms of log numerator should be a differential of the denominator so it is obviously not a differential of the denominator hence first option is not correct then we should look at the remaining three options b c and d in all the options it is of the form 1 plus e to the power of minus 2x so log of 1 plus e to the power of minus 2x so that means we should express the given integrand in this form the denominator should be of the form 1 plus e to the power of minus 2x so let us rewrite the given integral as 1 plus e power minus 2x just taking e power x common and shifting that to the numerator so e power x minus x into e power minus x it becomes e to the power of minus 2x into dx so we know that this can be rewritten in the form minus half into integral of minus 2 e to the power of minus 2x by 1 plus e power minus 2x into dx because the derivative of 1 plus e power minus 2x is minus 2 into e to the power of minus 2x so therefore this is exactly of the form f dash x by f of x hence it integration is log of f of x so we can write it as minus half into log of 1 plus e power minus 2x followed by the constant c so hence the third option is correct we now find the integral of 1 minus cos square x by cos to the power of 4x with respect to x so here according to these four options the integrand should be expressed either in the form of cot square x into cosecant square x or tan square x into secant square x so then only we will get cot cube x by x or tan cube x by x so we will rewrite the given integral in the form 1 minus cos square can be written as sin square x and denominator can be written as cos square x into cos square x so this is same as tan square x into secant square x dx we know that the derivative of tan x is secant square x so if you uh, this is of the form f of x whole power n into f dash x dx we know that its integration is f of x whole raised to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 so if i substitute tan x as t secant square x into dx becomes dt hence its integration is tan cube x by 3 followed by the constant c hence third option is correct we now integrate integral of 1 plus cos x plus cos square x and so on up to infinite terms with respect to x so if you look at the options it is very difficult to decide which is the correct option uh, correct integral of the given problem so what we do is we can see that the integrand is a geometric progression of containing infinite terms so we can rewrite the given integral in the form integral of see sum to infinite terms is given by a by 1 minus r so here in place of a we have 1 where the common ratio is cos x so this can be written as 1 over 1 minus cos x into dx so this can be written as integral of 1 by 2 sin square x by 2 into dx or else integral of half into cosecant square x by 2 into dx so we know that integration of cosecant square x by 2 is minus cot x by 2 into half so therefore integration of cosecant square x into dx is minus cot x plus c but here we have cosecant square x by 2 hence this will be minus cot x half into cos uh, cosecant square x by 2 becomes minus cot x by 2 followed by the constant c so therefore fourth option is correct we now evaluate integral of 1 over 2x minus 1 into square root of 2x minus 2 into dx so there are four options here uh, if you look at the second and the fourth option they may not be correct because if i substitute 2x minus 1 as t i may not get 1 by root of 2x minus 2 
So therefore, it is neither of the form f dash x by f of x nor in the form of 1 by square root of 2x minus 1 the whole square plus a square. So b and d may not be correct. So let us simplify to check whether a is correct or c is correct. So we will rewrite the given integral as integral of 1 by this 2x minus 2 should be expressed in terms of 2x minus 2 and then 1 because we need it in terms of tan inverse to get tan inverse we should have the integral of the form 1 by a square plus x square so this 2x minus 1 we will write it as 2x minus 2 plus 1 into square root of 2x minus 2 into dx so that this becomes 1 over square root of 2x minus 2 the whole square plus 1 square into 1 by root of 2x minus 2 into dx. Now we will go for substitution method. If I substitute square root of 2x minus 2 as t 1 by 2 root of 2x minus 2 and into derivative of 2x minus 2 is 2 into dx is equal to dt or 1 over root of 2x minus 2 into dx becomes dt. So this integral reduces to the form 1 by t square plus 1 square. So therefore integration of this is tan inverse of t and tan inverse t is replaced with square root of 2x minus 2 followed by the constant c. So therefore first option is correct. It's given integral of 5 cos x plus 2 sin x over 3 cos x plus 4 sin x into dx is equal to ax plus b into log of 3 cos x plus 4 sin x. We need to find the values of a and b. So for this type of problems that is integral of a cos x plus b sin x by p cos x plus q sin x we know that first thing is we need to express numerator as a into denominator plus b into d by dx of the denominator where we need to find the values of a and b here. So here 5 cos x plus 2 sin x can be written as a into 3 cos x plus 4 sin x plus b into derivative of the denominator is minus 3 sin x plus 4 cos x. Now equating the coefficients of cos x we get 5 is equal to 3a plus 4b. Same way equating the coefficients of sin x both sides we have 2 is equal to 4a minus 3b. So solving these two equations we will get a is equal to 23 by 25 and b is equal to 14 by 25. This is method 1. Next, instead of doing all these procedures, we can find the values of a and b directly. That is, whenever integral is of the form a cos x plus b sin x whole divided by p cos x plus q sin x into dx is given. So suppose if we can express this in terms of ax plus b into log of the denominator plus c then the value of a is nothing but multiplication of the co coefficients of cos x that is a into p plus b into q whole divided by p square plus q square whereas the value of b is where b is given by cross multiplying that is multiplying the coefficients of cos x in the numerator and sin x in the denominator that is a q minus b p whole divided by p square plus q square. So using these two formulas for the given problem, here a is given by multiplying the coefficients of constants here that is cos x 5 into 3 plus 2 into 4 
whole divided by 3 square plus 4 square is 25. So, multiplying these two plus multiplying these two whole divided by 3 square plus 4 square. So, this gives 23 by 25. Whereas, B is given by multiplying these two that is 5 into 4 minus multiplying these two that is 3 into 2 whole divided by 25. So, this gives 20 minus 6 that is 14 by 25. So, instead of following this procedure, instead of following this, we can, if you can remember these things. So, A is obtained by multiplying these two plus multiplying these two whole divided by 3 square plus 4 square. Whereas, uh, B is obtained by multiplying these two minus 3 into 2 whole divided by the 3 square plus 4 square. So, these values are obtained directly. So, hence, third option is 